guys, welcome back to my channel. I want to give a big shout out to all you subscribers for, which is uh, right now, but thank all of you guys so much for your support. And if you are new to this channel, please hit below the subscribe button and hit the notification bell so you'll be notified of when I upload my next video. So I want to thank you guys so much for um, clicking on this video and for subscribing. So I want to start out by saying that today's video is going to be about seven, se these are seven things that I have found most helpful in my walk with Christ. So these are seven, seven essentials, must have essentials, that, all Christ that I believe all Christian girls should have. So, with, and honestly, I've been, and these are really things that have really helped me grow in the past two years, like in the past like two years that I've really been diving into God's Word. These seven things are things I still use today and have continued to help me so much. So I hope that this will help you guys as well, which I, honestly, I believe it will. So keep watching this video, and with that said, let's just get out into it. So the first essential I want to share with you guys is this, of course, the Bible. And the Bible, obviously, you know, is a really important one because it's God's Word and we, every Christian girl, should have a Bible. I know it's hard to, I know some, in some countries it's really hard, you can't, you're not even allowed to have a Bible, but honestly, just finding some scripture, honestly, but the Bible is literally the best like essential to have so I want to start off with saying that if you have a Bible that is that if you don't have a Bible you need to get a Bible that is easy to understand because if you don't have a Bible that's easy that's easy to understand you are so like you're not even gonna understand okay it's like learning a whole new language so I want to start off with my Bible is the amplified version but there are a ton of other if you don't want amplified there is a ton of other Bibles out there. There's the best ones are that I know of are ESV, NIV, and NLT. So those are the best translations that I know of. Again, honestly, I've learned to love the Amplified Version because it really gives you a lot of helpful tips in it. Which also leads me to, if you're going to get a Bible, get a study Bible. Because study Bibles are the like really like the best because they help you get a more kind of in-depth perception of the whole past it's like a ceramic view of like okay so what's going on in the background of all this and like what does the verse mean when it says you know, fill in the blank so it really is helpful so I encourage you if you're thinking about getting a new bible or your first bible I encourage you to get a study bible because those are so helpful to me so yeah that's the first essential so the second essential is bible highlighters and a pen. So these are my highlighters. These are, I think my mom got these, I got these from my mom. I think she got them from Lifeway, I believe. Or somewhere online, maybe. I think, is it a Lifeway or like somewhere online? But they're literally four Bibles. They're Bible Dry Highlighters by, I guess, GTL. You can see that. I don't know if the camera will focus or not. Um, so I don't know if you can see that. But, yeah, so these are the highlighters. They come in different colors. Mine are pink and yellow and they don't bleed through the paper which is a major plus. This pen is by Faber Castell. It is a S number. It's black and it has got a very fine point. So it is very good for those for like especially if you have a small print bible, it's very good at getting at underlining it and not like crossing out the word, which I had with other pens that I used in my Bible. Literally, I could just marked it out from the Bible, which I did not do on purpose, honestly. Okay, so, honestly, guys, these are my, <coughs> these are, I'm, I'm trying to maybe link the description of where these may have come from. I had this pen since, like, for an art thing, I just used it for my Bible because it was so helpful, and it dries, like, immediately, and it doesn't leave these big globs, which some pens do, and it drives me crazy. So, good pens to get, good highlighters to get. Come in different colors, I love the color scheme because I like color. I do. I love those. Okay, so the third essential is a Bible journal, which, as you can see, wrong way. Which, as you can see, is pretty much just a composition. Sorry, the pages are kind of torn. So pretty much it's just a composition of just notes. You can see how I do mine. So I was studying Proverbs in this one, and you can see. Oh, I'm trying to move see focus. 
Um, but as you can see, I think, there we go. As you can see, it's just, um, so I do like the reference. And I just, sometimes I copied verses. Sometimes I just wrote down whatever God was speaking to me. This is really helpful in studying your Bible. Because that way you can look back on it. And you can be reminded of what you read. And a lot of truth. So I really encourage you guys, if you don't have one of these, get it. It's just, a, like I said, it's a small, tiny composition journal. You can get it like Walmart um, for like, really, it's not that expensive. So get a journal. It's honestly, it, it helps so much in studying your Bible. So with that said, I also want to go to the fourth essential that I have. And actually, all of these are the fourth essentials. So pretty much fourth essential is keeping journals. But not all these journals are the same thing. So let's start with this one. This journal is, as you can see, I got this one from Walmart. It's so cute, I love it. So I got it from Walmart, and, and this journal really is just for whatever struggles that you have or weaknesses. You can write your, you can write, find scripture and just copy it in here. Copy the verse, copy the reference. And you can look back on this, like, hey, like the first one I have is temptation. So whenever I feel tempted, I can go back to this and look at all the verses I have to deal with temptation. If you have a, if you want verses on joy or love or fill in the blank, just whatever you're struggling with or maybe something you want to improve or just verses that you'd like to remember for like love or whatever. Just, you know, you can, this is a journal just to record those verses. You can look back on that when you need it. I'm sorry, I feel like I'm saying this extremely fast. I'm sorry. Um, so yeah, so this journal is a really great journal. Guys, I really encourage you to get a journal. It has helped me so much with a temptation I was struggling with and really to remember these verses really helped me a lot. So if you're struggling with temptations out there, get a journal like this. Like I guess I think I, so this is kind of what it looks like right there. So you can just kind of see the, um, you can kind of just see the verses that I used for that and I can, and again, you can get these journals like at Walmart or anywhere. Pretty much, or Lifeway. Lifeway has very nice journals. So this journal is let's see this journal. This journal. So the next two journals are kind of similar. They're both prayer journals, but this prayer journal is. Let me see if I can show you one. So some of these have names in it, so I don't really want to show you like a lot. But okay, so kind of for distance. There's um. So this is like a prayer journal. I put the date. I just kind of did a sort summary of the prayer that I was praying for, and the person I was praying for. Not the prayer I was praying. The person I'm praying for, and so I just kind of put. I started out putting, um, started out putting like tally marks to kind of know how many times I prayed for it um, before I got answered, and then I wrote the answer down below it. So I just kind of just quick summary, like half a page, and then the other half is just how God answered. And again, this one isn't this one isn't complete, but you, know, you can see that I did a summary and then left. A blank for God's answer. So this is a really good one just if you're going through your prayers at night, you know, to kind of remember those people that you prayed for. You can say, oh yeah, this person, okay, this is what I'm praying for that person about. So it's just a quick summary. Um, I like this one again, it's, you know, so, so you can grab and pray and kind of gives you a quick summary of the people you're praying for and how many times, you know, the prayers that God has answered, how he answered, this kind of thing. So I really enjoyed This journal has helped me so much. I've had this journal for about a year or two maybe. Your okay, so this journal, moving on, so this is my second prayer journal. So this journal is kind of just like a diary or kind of kind of like a letter prayer um, to God. And it's just literally just pour, like, you can just pour your heart out into this one. So you don't have to like leave, you don't have to leave a blank for like an answer or anything like that. I just write out like I'm writing in a diary or like I'm writing a letter to somebody. And I just pour out my heart like exactly how I'm feeling in this. And it helps to get those emotions out. And just tell God how you feel. Sometimes if um, you're not really good at saying it, like talking to God about it, just writing, if you're one of those people that, you know, writing it out really helps you to kind of get your thoughts out. This is a great journal for you. And I really encourage you guys to get this journal. I don't, I got this at a Christmas party, so I can't tell you guys where I got this journal. But it's a really good journal. And you can find, like I said, journals like anywhere. At, like Lifeway online at Walmart for like really it's not that expensive. So those are my three journals for the fourth for that fourth essential. So for the fifth on my list is a prayer closet. Guys, I cannot tell you enough how important having a prayer closet is. 
it has helped me so much, guys, in my walk with Christ. Like, I can't even begin. Like, it has helped me so much with my prayer life. And you can, it really can do, arrange it however you want to. It's kind of personal to you. So there's no really set way of, like, you must have this and this in your prayer closet. It's just whatever you feel comfortable with, whatever God's, like, leading you to put. For me, I actually um, have a board in my closet that just says prayer requests. So I'll have sticky notes, like, anybody's like, oh, hey, like, my dad's come up to me before and said, hey, Caitlin, can you write this down on a um, note or something and remember to pray for this person at my work? And I'm like, okay. So I write it down on a post-it note and I stick it on that board in my prayer closet, in my closet. Well, I can just write that down and look at it and remember, okay, these are the prayer requests. And when it gets answered, I take it and I take it off there. So it's just sticky notes. So you can easily just take it off, rearrange it, however you like to do it. So that's for me. I also have scriptures in there that have to do with prayer or maybe like when I was struggling with my temptation, I put some verses that had to do with temptation in there. So that's really, really, really good. I really enjoy doing that. Also, I put... Sometimes I wrote full length prayers. Um, also, I just kind of put, um, I put some, like, some pictures that I had of maybe some people that I was praying for. And I just put them to kind of like see their face and kind of, I don't know, I feel like, I mean, I don't know, it's going to sound kind of weird, but I'm like, seeing the person kind of helps me to pray for them better. I feel like, I mean, it makes no sense. I don't know. But yeah, so just however you really want to do it, scripture, however you feel God, whatever you feel God leading you to do. The prayer closet is really, and it is something, like at first I was like, I don't know what to even do, but honestly, as you really continue praying in there, you will, it will become natural, just like what you want to put in there, and it will become like so personal to you. So I really encourage you guys, start a prayer closet if you don't have one already, because it's great. It's just spend some really good quality time with the Lord, where it's undistracted, and you don't have like phones going off, you know, you're just in that one little space. It's okay if you don't have a walk-in closet. My closet is not walk-in. Just, I just cleared out like the floor, like anything that was in the floor and moved it or threw it out. And then just kind of, my clothes, I made sure I didn't have like long pants in there, so mostly t-shirts and dresses. So it's really, you can really make it however you want to. You don't have to have some kind of perfect walk-in closet to do it. So I encourage you guys to start a prayer closet because it's awesome and it helps so much with my faith and my consistency of praying. So I honestly, I encourage you guys to do that. The sixth essential is just have a good church home. Guys, I can't tell you this enough. You need a church home that really is a place where you feel loved and surrounded by other brothers and sisters in Christ who can encourage you in your walk. Because if you don't have that, like, you just kind of feel alone and you feel like all the pressure in the world is, like, geared toward you. You just feel like you have like all these burdens. So to kind of have people in your good church family who can really encourage you with that, it's awesome. Guys, I encourage you, find a good church home. If you're in a church right now and you feel like you're not getting that, change churches, find a different church. Maybe if you have friends that go to a different church, try going to their church. Um, or just maybe just look around, try different churches in your area until you find one. Because honestly, it is such a good thing to have because you're surrounded by fellows by in fellowship with other believers and it's an amazing really amazing thing to have so i encourage you guys if you don't have a home church that is like that go find one go find one and pray about it pray for god to lead you to the right church and i'm like pray consistently like pray 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 about that because it's so important but talking about encouragement fellowship all that leads me to my seventh and last point, or not really point, but um, essential that, or must have, that we, well, must have. So, if you are really, if you're really wanting to, um, if you really want to find some encouragement, I encourage you guys to find an accountability partner, okay? That just means find somebody who is really who's more mature than you are in your faith, who is older and is the same gender. Because it's hard to really mentor somebody, like, or even be mentored to by someone who's not your same gender, if that makes sense. I've, honestly, I found this to be true. It really is true. Like, if you, like, as a girl, like, I can't really mentor guys. I can help them just by giving them biblical truth, but I can't really mentor them because I can't relate to them. And same other way around. So find someone that is your own gender 
and pray about this person who is older and more mature than you and pray for God to bring that person along into your life because and for me my accountability partner is my mom my mom is my accountability partner she helps me when I stray off the right path and she reminds me of my convictions that I've made and really it kind of helps keep you aligned with God's word and you don't feel like you have that burden it's like all on you like I'm the kind of person I think I said this in a recent video I'm the kind of person that I have to I feel like I almost have to have something like I feel like I'm trying to think of words I feel like I have to carry like all the burdens like all the weight on me and it's really hard like I guess because I'm kind of control freak I have to have like all the like, I have to take it all in myself I'm like I don't need anybody I got this but the Lord keeps telling me like no you don't got this <laughs> it's like you don't have it you need to let me handle it and let other Christian believers around you carry that burden as well so honestly it's really important in fact all of these that I mentioned all seven things I mentioned are super duper super duper duper super important guys it's so important to have these things because like I said I have found this I mean everything that all those seven things I mentioned to you are things that I have actually used and I have used for about like two years and they have really really increased my faith these are really essential must-haves that you need like I can't tell you how much you need these and so if you don't have them I encourage you that as soon as you finish watching this video which we're well, almost done as soon as you finish watching this video go like to the store and go like buy a journal or revamp your closet whatever it is that you need because these things really do help guys I have again I have used them and I've seen other people use them as well and they really do help so guys if you enjoyed this video please hit the subscribe button and thank you so much for watching and also also leave a comment down below if, if what's essential that you really needed or you feel like you need um, maybe like which tip that you heard that you really feel like you need to, to hear the most like like maybe oh man I really need to do a prayer closet because I really want to build my faith like that or maybe you're just like I need something that I can do that I can write down my thoughts on or do a prayer journal or maybe it's a journal that I did for like different struggles and writing down those verses. Whatever it is that really helped you the most, leave it down in the comments below because I'd love to hear from you guys. And if you have just any thoughts about the video, anything maybe that you like to add, maybe something I left out, um, just do a link in the comment. Make use of the comment section, people. Make use of it. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. And next, and also I want to let you guys know there's a part two to this. Also, so there's a part two to this. So my next video is going to be about different apps that have helped me. So I'm going to get into that in my next videos. So when that video comes out, so that's why you need to hit that subscribe button and notification bell so you'll know when it comes out, which will be most likely next week. Actually, I take that back. I'm probably going to do a vlog when I go to Starlet. So actually, it might be the next video. So, but it'll come out soon, either the next video or the next next video. But anyway, this is coming soon, so stay tuned for part two to this series. And I look forward to seeing you guys next week. Have a blessed week, guys. Hello, doggy. <laughs> Bye.